The Great Ball Game, a Muskogee story, retold by Joseph Brucock, illustrated by Susan L. Roth. Long ago, the birds and animals had a great argument. We who have wings are better than you, said the birds. That is not so, the animals replied. We who have teeth are better. The two sides argued back and forth. Their quarrel went on and on until it seemed they would go to war because of it. Then Crane, the leader of the birds, and Bear, the leader of the animals, had an idea. Let us have a ball game, Crane said. The first side to score a goal will win the argument. This idea is good, said Bear. The side that loses will have to accept the penalty given by the other side. So they walked and flew to a field, and there they divided up into two teams. On one side went all those who had wings. They were the birds. On the other side went those with teeth. They were the animals. But when the teams were formed, one creature was left out, Bat. He had wings and teeth. He flew back and forth between the two sides. First he went to the animals. I have teeth, he said. I must be on your side. But Bear shook his head. It would not be fair, he said. You have wings. You must be a bird. So Bat flew to the other side. Take me, he said to the birds, for you see I have wings. But the birds laughed at him. You are too little to help us. We don't want you, they jeered. Then Bat went back to the animals. Please let me join your team, he begged them. The birds laughed at me and would not accept me. So Bear took pity on the little bat. You are not very big, said Bear, but sometimes even the small ones can help. We will accept you as an animal, but you must hold back and let the bigger animals play first. Two poles were set up as the goalposts at each end of the field. Then the game began. Each team played hard. On the animal's side, fox and deer were swift runners, and bear cleared the way for them as they played. Crane and hawk, though, were even swifter, and they stole the ball each time before the animals could reach their goal. Soon it became clear that the birds had the advantage. Whenever they got the ball, they would fly up into the air and the animals could not reach them. The animals guarded their goal well, but they grew tired as the sun began to set. Just as the sun sank below the horizon, Crane took the ball and flew toward the poles. Bear tried to stop him, but stumbled in the dim light and fell. It seemed as if the birds would surely win. Suddenly, a small dark shape flew onto the field and stole the ball from Crane, just as he was about to reach the poles. It was Bat. He darted from side to side across the field for he did not need light to find his way. None of the birds could catch him or block him. Holding the ball, Bat flew right between the poles at the other end. The animals had won. This is how Bat came to be accepted as an animal. He was allowed to set the penalty for the birds. You birds, Bat said, must leave this land for half of each year. So it is that the birds fly south each winter. 
And every day at dusk, Bat still comes flying to see if the animals need him to play ball.